Oh. Well, isn't he just an adorable little ball of justice? Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Jada Toys Metals Diecast Batman v Superman Armored Batman. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front, you have Armored Batman looking all armored on this side of the box. You have Batman and Superman. On the other side of the box, you have Superman and Batman. On the top of the box, you just have the Batman v Superman logo. On the bottom, you just have a bunch of copyright stuff. Bloody, bloody, bloody. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shot. And apparently, there are two different versions of this figure. Um, I have M11, and there's M12, which is apparently just an all-black version of it. So There you have that. So moving right along... Here we have little armored Batman. Now, I saw this at my local Toys R Us, and I picked it up because I just thought it looked cute. <laughs> That's why I bought it. It just it just looked cute, so I was like, oh, I'll give it a shot, see what it's all about. So, yeah, as advertised, this is a, uh, a die-cast figure. There is a lot of metal in this dude. Um, the whole body is done in die-cast. I believe the only things that are plastic are his head. His head is plastic. Um, his forearms and his fists here are plastic, and his boots are plastic. You can see I can actually flex them there. Um, other than that, everything on him feels like it's die-cast. Um, so he does have a little bit of weight to him. He's not like, you know, on the box it says, warning, heavy. It's not really heavy. I mean, he has a little bit of heft to him, but he's not like, it's not a brick, you know. It doesn't really have that much weight to it. Um, now, articulation-wise, there isn't really a whole lot. He doesn't move his head. His arms, it looks like they should move, but they don't. They just wiggle slightly. Nothing at the forearms. He has a waist swivel. He can do that. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah. <laughs> um, the cape is a soft plastic. So, you can bend it around. You don't have to worry about breaking it. And, uh, yeah, that's what he does is what he does. Um, I love the paint they use, though. The paint is really nice. I love that silver paint they use on this figure. It looks gorgeous. And the gold there for the utility belt looks really nice, as well as the gold there on the spikes, on his gauntlets. Got the gold knucks right there. The gold tips on his boots. And, yeah, very nice, very cool. Um, now this does stand at, uh, six inches tall, if you go right to the tippity top of his ears there. Um, he is six inches tall, and, uh, just for another comparison, here he is with the, uh, DC Multiverse, um, Superman. So you can see how that scales, <laughs> right there. And, uh, here he is with the Hero Cross, Superman. So, there you go. Just to show that off. And, um, yeah, he does have a light-up feature, he does have a button... On the back of his head here, right there, you can see the battery compartment. It takes three uh, button cell batteries that are that are included. Um, but yeah, there's a button right there on the back of his head. You push it and woo, his eyes light up right there with nice bright LED. Very cool. This actually works a lot better than the uh, the Hero Cross <laughs> light up gimmick. So there you go. It does that, and of course, this being the armored Batman, he does come with armor that you can put on him. So he has a chest plate, he has a helmet, he has the little shoulder pieces, he does come with new forms and fists, and he comes with the leg armor right there. So we're just going to arm this dude up. Now all of these pieces are plastic, all of these, the only thing that's die-cast is the helmet. The helmet is die-cast. It's the only other thing on this set is diecast, um, as far as the armor goes. So let's get him armored up, shall we? Let so the chest plate you just take and just slide it onto his chest like that. Oops, push the button by accident. So you just put that on his chest, and then you take the shoulder pieces. They are marked um, L and R, so you know which side goes where. So you just take that, and it just clips right on. Clip on the other side, right there. Um, this is the one part you do have to swap, you do have to pull out his, uh, his forearms here. So rip off his forearms, and then you install the new forearms, and the peg is shaped a specific way, so only go in one way. So just take that, pop that on, 
pop on his other form right there and then you take the leg armor and it just clips over right there clip that over on the other side right there and then the helmet you just whoop, plunk it right on his head <laughs> it doesn't lock in or anything it you know there's nothing securing it and it's a little a little divots in there for the ears to go in but nothing actually really holds this in place but anyway just sits right there and there you go there you have them all armored up and that just looks really cute <laughs> I just like it because it looks cute. It's this little big bulky super deformed bat dude. I don't know. <laughs> well, you can make his eyes light up and it works very well in there. It looks really cool in the helmet. Like I like that. I dig that. So there you go. That's pretty much all there is to it. I mean it, it does what it does and that's that's all it does. <laughs> but I thought it was cute. This goes for, um, I think it was $19.99 at Toys R Us. So 20 bucks. Not bad. Um, but yeah, I, I just dig it. I just thought it was cute and I picked it up and I, I enjoy it. I like it. <laughs> um, we'll get in closer just so you can see some of the details. I love the, the, the gunmetal gray they use on this though. It looks really, really nice. And again, this, just like the uh, DC Multiverse uh, figure, it does have all those little gashes and scrapes in the armor. Which I like, and even has some little gashes there in the helmet, some battle damage. So, yeah, it's nicely detailed for what it is. You see the plating there in the stomach? Nicely done, very nicely done. Even the helmet, you know, has some nice detailing in there. It's cool. It's it's a neat little fun figure. This is definitely something you can like, you know, just kind of plunk on your desk at work or something. But, oh no, I thought it was cute. That's why I bought it. And, uh, yeah, I, I dig it. I dig it for what it is. So, there you go. That's pretty much it. So, so if you would like this armored Batman or any Batman v Superman toys, you can always check out BigBadToysStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below. You can also check out my Batman v Superman playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Jada Toys Metals Diecast Batman v Superman. Superman, Armored Batman, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be a proud. Palm in your face! Alright, Kent, this is it. You're going down. Dude, you, you, you look like you can barely move in that thing. Just, just, just give me a moment. I just... I, just, just let me try one thing. Just, just, just one little thing. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, see you around, Bruce. This isn't funny. You get back here, cunt. You get back here and help me up. Oh, when I get up, you are so gonna bleed. So gonna bleed, I swear to- <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>